Hi, I, Al Gore, am full of it. Carbon credits will not save the environment. It is a big scheme that I came up with. I think I, well, let me, I think I wanted you to believe in global warming. So that way you would think about me and, and, and I would be important once again. Al Gore's full of crap. The dude is a big freaking phony. If you're a true environmentalist and you truly care about the environment, then your energy usage will be in the bottom, you know, 10 or 20 percent of Americans, not in the top 99 percentile of energy users. If if you're a true environmentalist, when you leave the room, you turn off the freaking lights. Uh, if 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 global warming is really a threat to the planet, then you're going to live your life in a different way. You're going to have different actions instead of just going around and saying everybody else is stupid and I'm such a genius. If you haven't changed your ways to where you're doing something differently, then that's what you need to do. Okay? Someone, someone who's the real deal is Paul Wheaton. That dude really cares about the environment. That dude has really, that guy is not only doing things in his own life, but he's doing things to change things. Uh, there's going to be a link. Go over, check him out, check out his videos, watch his stuff. Solid gold. I mean, you're going to learn about the evils of CFL light bulbs. Okay. Oh, this man, he uses incandescence here. Oh, this is horrible. Let's, I'm, I'm just going to downvote the video. I'm not going to listen anymore. You're, you're being a, a retard. You're, you're being a closed-minded individual who claims to be open-minded. If you're truly open-minded, go watch the entire video. Go look at the things he has to say. Um, if, if you have a belief that this thing will will kill us all. I don't I don't believe that global warming is real. But guess what? I don't think we should ship our food from halfway around the world. I don't think we should ship water from a place that has a limited supply of water just because we think it's the best kind of bottled water. Buy your own uh, buy a filter and and filter the local water. You know, do that instead of shipping it across the environment. Grow a garden. Why are we shipping food thousands of miles? How much more local can you get than your own backyard? Can you can you can you do that? Does 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 Al Gore? Does does James Cameron? Do they have a garden? Do they do they buy local? Do their actions show that, hey, I, I really care about the environment. I'm really concerned about the earth. You know? Or should we, or should we continue to ship things thousands of miles, eat GMO products, pour, pour gallons and gallons upon chemicals in our food, and then, you know, feed that to animals and then eat those animals where those chemicals are bioaccumulated? And now that we think that, you know, beef from a cow causes cancer, when it's those chemicals that those cows have been consuming because we, we dump it all over our, our, our fields and our crops and then we consume that crap, that right there, that kind of crap, that's really destroying the earth. That's really hurting us, is dumping chemicals all over our crops and our plants, and we're consuming this stuff. So, come on. Please, 
I hope, honestly, I hope you watch the whole video. I hope you go check out Paul Wheaton's stuff instead of just saying, well, this guy's an idiot because he doesn't believe in global warming. And we need to not listen to him until we can brainwash him and tell him he needs to go search the Google and and figure out about this this global warming. Okay, what what's better? We I should buy, I should start buying carbon credits. That's what I should do and just continue to live a lifestyle that is unsustainable and that's really destroying the environment. Am I telling everybody to go continue to drive a Dodge truck everywhere and we should all do drive Dodge big Dodge trucks duly? It gets nine miles to the gallon because that's what we should do. No, I'm not that dude. I'm saying if there's a dude that needs to drive one of those, that ain't the end of the world. But if we're the dude that's going to go around and dump crap and chemicals all over everything and completely pollute and destroy the environment, we need to knock that crap off. So here's the deal. Hopefully you watch this. Let's go check out Paul Wheaton. Let's go learn a thing or two from a dude who's a real freaking dude. He's not Al Gore that claims he believes things and claims that we need to not drive Hummers. Um, Hummers are bad. I mean, come on, dude. Really? That that's you know that's your solution. Car carbon credits is just going to continue to destroy. Oh, but we're going to limit back on the carbon credits, and it's going to cost people extra money, and it's going to bull crap. Here's the thing: if you put a law in place, the law can still be broken. But if people are educated and say, "Hey, this is important. This this little diddly right here, this is important. We shouldn't do this." Versus a law which is easily broken and, and impossible to enforce. Whereas if everybody's education, well, you need to be educated about global warming. Bull crap, okay? Being educated that these, that GMOs are horrible and the chemicals that are being put on them are horrible. That's, that's what we really need to, uh, concern ourselves with. Please, please go check out Paul Wheaton's channel. Please go watch his stuff. I can't. I can't tell you how how wonderful uh, Paul Wheaton is. He's a good dude. Let's go watch him. Okay. All right. There you go.